All right, good morning, guys. It's, uh, what, Tuesday morning, and, uh, yeah, Bones a no-call, no-show. Uh, after he called me last night, uh, he left a voicemail last night talking about he's ready to go to work. So, uh, I was watching a video uh, Shane at DLT, big shout out to Shane, man. That's one of my favorites, man. So uh, I've been I watched his video and he's talking about uh, you know uh, don't panic, you know when you lose customers. You know, every year this time of year you're gonna probably lose customers. You know the work dries up. Uh, in the very beginning, it's kind of shocking. It kind of shocks your system, if you will. Because you're used to making, you know, at least a few hundred dollars a day to, to making nothing, you know, and actually costing you, you know. Uh, and you guys have seen, you know, over the years how I have made my business a little bit more, uh, you know, uh, ready for that, you know. Uh, but I have lost. I have lost a couple of long-term customers, uh, and not it wasn't nothing that I did or or anything. It's just circumstance, you know. Uh, nine times out of ten, uh, uh, my customers they're they're you know I don't want to say all of them, but you know, seventy-five percent of them are older. And what always happens is is, is they uh, well people get older and then they can't. They, they can't even take care of their place and they can't take care of their uh, you know the property especially if it's a big cut you know so uh, I lose customers ever. I've lost uh, about four customers this year you know yeah I've lost about four customers this year uh, so every every year you're gonna lose a few, you know. Uh, you don't really know what who's coming back. Actually, you know, I mean, you can you can guess, but you know, uh, who's coming back the next season? You know, a lot of things can happen. You know, people move, people die, uh, people uh, hire somebody else. You know, there's a lot of reasons why. Uh, and when I lose a customer uh, that I think's in, in good standing or that I think that I've been doing a good job and, and you know, and showing up and all that, and I lose them, then I always want to know why I lose a customer no matter what. Because if you don't know why, then, you know, you can't get any better. Even if, it, you know, this particular year, uh, I haven't lost any due to my work. I have lost, I, I've lost uh, one because, uh, well, the main reason why is because the, the, the gentleman that hired me is getting on up in years and his daughter and them are taking over all of his finances. And, uh, and they uh, went on and let the, it's a ranch, and they went on and let the ranch hand head ranch hand over there take care of the lawn and over the years being this ranch hand have butted heads you know uh, don't don't really know why he was all up in my business or anything uh, he was always over there trying to tell me you know where to put this or I can't shoot the grass this way and I, I and, and I'm doing the property it's not even the ranch and you know he was just always you know meddling you know and, you know, I'm like, man, I don't work for you, dude, you know. So me and him had had a few issues over the, you know, the, the eight years or so that I was doing the property. And so this year, uh, he he uh, was calling me, and I wouldn't answer the phone. Because I don't want to, I ain't got nothing to talk. I don't like him. I don't want to, I, I think he's, you know, I, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't want to deal, I don't have to deal with him. He's not paying me. He's not my boss or nothing. And uh, the old man over there, let me back up a little bit. The old man over there uh, came to me and says, hey, Ray, uh, 
why is that back field, the field area, not an area that I'm responsible to cut? And the old man is kind of losing it, you know, he's got dementia a little bit. And he says, Ray, why is that back field back there so bad off? And I'm like, well, I don't know. He said, well, he, and so the old man had me ride down there with him, you know, in his truck. So I hop off the mower, I get in the old man's truck, the, the landowner, and me and him ride down to the, to the, to one of the pastures on the farm. And it's overgrown like hell, right? I mean, there's privet and, and, and thorn bushes and everything. It's bad. I've never seen it that bad. So, uh, so me and the, the owner's like, well, Brian needs to get up, you know, the guy's name, you know, Brian needs to get up over here and, and cut this, you know, and it's about a, probably about a 12 acre field, you know, or, or you know, you know, it's, it's pretty big. And I'm like, yeah, I guess so. Uh, so then not, you know, as soon as I got back on the mower and got started again, after the old man dropped me off back at my mower and I got started again over there, the, uh, the ranch hands called me. Apparently the old man done called him. And so the ranch hand is calling me and I wouldn't answer the phone because, well, I don't, I didn't want to. You know, I, didn't, you know, I didn't want to. So, uh, fast forward, this was back in, uh, probably July, late July, August. Uh, and then about three or four days later, uh, you know, uh, the daughter of the landowner texted me and said, hey Ray, uh, can you go on and invoice me for, you know, uh, August? And she, I never, she never requested that before to be invoiced up front. I said, well, I don't do the invoice until the end. You know, till September the first, I'll invoice you guys for all of August. It's one of the few customers I do like that, and it's a year round. So I knew something was fishy going on then. So they waited. So a month went by. I went on an invoice them where we was even, and they paid me. And then her husband, you know, the daughter's husband called me and told me that you know that I wouldn't be doing the property anymore. That he wished that I could get along with Brian, they would keep me on. But uh, you know, and, and Brian's going to be running the show over there. And I said, well, if Brian's running the show, then uh, I can't work with Brian. You know, I can't work for him. I can't do any of that. So you know, so they said, that, and they already knew that Brian had already told them on his end. You know, hey, I, I, I can't work with Ray. Y'all want me to take this thing over? Or y'all going to have to fire Ray? So that's what they did. So they did tell me that if you know if they needed me to come back, that they would definitely call me. So we'll see. It's all good. Uh, I'm not gonna work for him. Uh, I'm not. I'm just not gonna do it, man. I don't. I don't. I don't. It's not. So we'll just have to. <clears throat> we'll just have to see what they. Uh, well, what happens but you know that's been it's, it's november you see of course they're gonna fire you in september october they're not gonna wait and they're not gonna fire you in july unless you really do something you know this is just you know just real talk here y'all i mean i mean you have to really do something bad to lose a customer uh you know in the middle of the summer you know because it's easier for the customer to say, okay, well, you know, let's just hold out and wait until the end of the season and then we'll make a move for the next season. You know, that's usually what happens. Not all the time, but that, that's usually the way it go down. And, you know, for me, uh, I, I, I refuse to work with him. I probably could have called him and, you know, and came up with an, an amicable uh, resolution to the issues but over the years we've just had some really bad issues with each other and uh, you know he's done crossed the line with me as far as being able to work with him so and I'm certainly not gonna work for him I mean uh, so there's that but every year you're gonna lose customers you just gotta you gotta you just gotta stay up you gotta stay in the game man you can't can't panic you know man and that's what Shane I guess my whole more of that story is that's what Shane's talking about you know you can't panic 
you know, when you start looking, when the end of the season comes and or you start losing customers, you know, because uh, that's why you got to be on your A game all the time. You got to have the self-discipline to get up, get out, and do what you need to do every day and, uh, you know, make sure that you are uh, in the best position to win. So, uh, yeah. I don't, uh, I used to get a lot more upset, not upset, but worried, you know, uh, when I lost a customer, but I don't, I don't, I don't get upset about it no more. It's, it's just, it's just the nature of the beast, man. You know, uh, it's how it goes, man. And I'm always trying to, uh, you know, find other ways to make money too, you know. Because just because we in lawn care, you know, don't mean that we can't make money with other things, you know. Uh, you can take that money from lawn care and you can make, I make money, you know, on, on all kinds of things. You know, I flipped equipment, uh, you know, bought equipment, made money with the equipment, and then sell the equipment for the same money that I bought it for. So, you know, uh, there's a lot of things that you can do, you know, to, uh, create work, you know, uh, losing, a, losing two or three customers. Well, some of the customers I wouldn't mind losing, you know, <laughs> and some of the customers I, you know, uh, like I hated losing that big one over there. I was going to go up on the price next year e anyway. Uh, but you know, uh, all right, y'all. So, uh, I took the truck to the tire shop and they uh they said the tires needed rotating and all so rotating and balance mount, you know so that's what i did y'all <laughs> and since i bought the tires from them they didn't even charge me man oh yeah this thing's driving a lot better now a whole lot better so, yeah, uh, bowls and no call, no show. Uh, that means Bo probably will not work tomorrow. I probably will not let him work tomorrow. He could have at least called me this morning. I have the courtesy to call, man, or nothing, man. It's just, yeah. And that's how he is, man. And that's why he gets what he gets. That's why he gets paid what he gets paid. Just saying. Man, I'm glad to get that done, dude. That's sweet, dude. Because I was getting a little bit concerned about that. Next thing I'm gonna have to do, y'all, man, is I'm gonna have to carry this skid steer up to the shop, man. You know, I don't I don't want to, but I'm gonna have to. At some point, you know. I signed up to to Richie's auction, Richie Brothers, you know, auction. Anyway, I signed up uh, to them uh, so I can uh, go online and I can even bid if I want to. I, I, would, I just want to observe how the auction goes, you know. Uh, I don't know if that's a good way to buy equipment or not. I mean, I guess you could you could get a get ripped off you know about like you get ripped off anywhere else you know uh and i don't know what kind of good price or whatever uh, i can get on stuff i would just like to kind of uh, you know uh i mean you gotta love the backup camera dude <laughs> Backup cameras and shit, man. So, I would just like to be able to look online at uh, at the auction as it's going and kind of, you know, observe how the, you know all the you know uh, procedures and all. And then you never know, man. I might buy something, dude, uh, like an attachment or something, just uh, something small, just to kind of get a feel for how it goes, man. To see, you know, I ain't fixing to jump on there and buy no fifty thousand dollar piece of equipment uh, or nothing like that, but. Uh, 
I wouldn't mind buying attachment or something for the skid steer, you know. Uh, yeah. So, uh, just, you know, because, man, believe it or not, man, well, I know y'all believe it. There are people that make money just on equipment sales. I mean, make a living, a damn good living. You, you know what to buy and how to bid and, and all that. You can, you can lose your ass. But you can all uh, 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 you can also uh, probably do pretty good too, you know.